sick patients who have traveled to China are now landing in Canadian emergency rooms. The fact that there are some cases that are under a further examination is actually a good sign. It's a sign that our system is working. Within days of the first case in China, scientists there decoded the new virus, revealing its genetic blueprint. With that knowledge, Canadian researchers quickly developed tests. Now, just weeks into this outbreak, doctors can tell in just a day if a patient's infected with the flu or the new coronavirus. Oh, so this is it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh. At Public Health Ontario, they're working overtime. Lab workers have received over a dozen nose and throat swabs from potentially infected patients. From those samples, they're snipping out a portion of genetic material for testing. I think we've had six requests today alone. The virus blueprints look a lot like barcodes. One from the patient, the other represents the new coronavirus. Is it a matter of seeing how closely these align and match? Exactly. So what you want for a patient sample, you want to see if there's a bar at the same place. If a specific bar in the code lines up and that's a match, scientists then zoom in on the viral letter code to see if the person is infected or not. So it's sort of like a two-step matching. Exactly, and that's why it takes 24 hours as we need that second step. This type of test wasn't available during the height of the SARS epidemic and could save lives by stopping the spread. We weren't starting from scratch in the way that we could have been doing before. And then also the technologies allow us to do things faster. What are they, four or five years old? Every sample tested for the new coronavirus is then being sent to the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg. Labs across the country are now working 24 hours a day, expecting that at some point there will be a positive match for the new coronavirus. Okay, Christine, so tracking the spread is one thing. What about how dangerous this virus is? It's still early days, but we do know that about 25% of people infected with this new coronavirus who've shown up in Chinese hospitals are severely ill, and about 4% of them are dying. By comparison, 20% of people infected with SARS died. So it does seem that this virus is less severe. We also heard from the World Health Organization today that many of the people who have died had underlying health conditions. So their immune system was compromised for one reason or another, which does underscore what we're hearing from Canadian health authorities and that the risk here is low, but it is still early days right. and the situation is evolving. Okay, Christine, thanks very much. You're welcome.